got your 1.5 to 2.8 degrees C world, which represents the additional regional and global warming on top of the localized heat island. Uh, and on top of that, so it's a, a triple whammy of heat, uh, heat problems, you've got your extreme heat events, your heat waves. It's going to make cities uh, um, quite difficult to live in. Uh, the livability aspect will be compromised immensely. has been overlooked uh, up to very recently. Um, it's unbelievable, we call it the silent killer because it's been, it's, it, like even though, uh, even though we've been talking about global warming for decades, we haven't been talking about heat. We've been talking about sea level rise and flooding and hurricanes and tornadoes, but we haven't been talking about extreme heat. Our software has a capability to understand why a certain place is hot and what can be done to cool it down, what's the impact on the energy demand and how can we save it, or what's the impact on the human thermal comfort and how can we improve it. So we want FortiGuard to become the Google of temperature. We want to be the, the guy to go to when it comes to temperature. So this is where we want to go to folks who do navigation tools so they can give their pedestrians where is the next walking distance for a cooler route instead of a shorter one. Or a property listing application, where to live for good microclimate conditions and so on and so forth. We also want to take this to the insurance market, to the banking sector, to the logistics market, and even the health um, market. intensity here, as you can imagine, uh, can be very, very uncomfortable. So everything at Mazda City planning evolves around how to moderate, naturally to make the, make the outdoor environment comfortable so that it can become a walkable city. Mazda City, in the middle of an extreme environment, has become a test bed for urban heat innovation and data gathering. The idea is that solutions found here can inform cooler designs in a fast warming planet. By increasing uh, tree canopy cover uh, by 30 percent, uh, you decrease um, heat-related mortality by a third. We've seen that we've concreted our streets and we've paved everything. We need to depave. We need to start 
uh, creating more permeable surfaces uh, that water can dissipate through to also minimize radiation uh, and, and overheating of, of the surfaces.